What's up guys, Parker here. Here's a quick trick on how to unclutter your x-axis labels when using a hierarchy. Let's get started. Jumping over to Power BI Desktop, you can see that I have a basic bar chart on the screen here. And when you click on it, you can see that on the shared axis, I have a hierarchy of year, quarter, and month. And you can see on the x-axis, it's really cluttered and it's rotated. Uh, basically the year, quarter, and month are having to be squashed in this tiny amount of space. We can combat this really easily with one little switch that we can flip in the formatting pane. So if we go to formatting and to the x-axis, there's this one little switch here that says concatenate labels. If we switch that off, it's going to show that in a much easier to understand format. So you can see on the bottom level here, we have the year, which is 2013 and 2014, and then it divides it into the different quarters of data, and then it divides it even further into the different months. So it has these little grid lines that are somewhat faint, but you can see to show the division between them, and this scales very nicely. It is much easier to understand than a bunch of text that is just showing in a small amount of space. So taking you through the different levels, we can see that as we go up to the top level, we just have year, and as we drill down, we have year and quarter. As we drill down even further, we have that year, quarter, month specification. That's really cool. So we're using a hierarchy that we had created here. We can actually do this without using hierarchies and just using a couple of fields in the shared axis. So I'm going to take you through that. So I'm going to get rid of year, quarter, month. And instead, I'm going to throw in country, region in the shared axis. And I'm going to throw in month below it in the shared axis. So this is kind of a created hierarchy. It's not actually a hierarchy, but it's a hierarchy within the visual itself. So as we drill down into the countries, we're gonna see the same kind of functionality where the country is on this bottom level here and is divided into months. So that's really cool functionality. It might allow you to free up a little bit of space in case your x-axis is, is getting a little cluttered. This is supported in a number of different visuals. I've tried in the line visual and this combo chart as well and in the bar chart. So go ahead and try that out. Let me know if you like this tip and I will see you in the next Power BI video.